Hi and welcome to this little demo on use an application of the new Spotify Fractal. You can download it as always at mari.ideascale.com. I'm just going to create the new Fractal and by default we get a very noisy result and this is simply because this particular sphere is really really big it's about 500 times the size of the Mari default head and this is just to test if the fractal behaves on big scenes as well which unfortunately not all the Mari fractals do very well on so it doesn't look very impressive right now so if I lower the values here you can see I'm getting starting to get finer results and see something but we obviously have a really low dimension value already so we're losing a lot of the sliders so I'm going to go down to the extra attributes and adjust the A and B multiplier and what that does is literally just um, rearrange the slider values here so if I set it really low first of all you already see something looking a lot more like what we want and and we have more range in our sliders. If I multiply just the dimension A and B, you can always see we get some interesting looking shapes. And basically what the Spotify fractal does, it creates a fractal dimension A and uses this fractal to weigh the frequency of a second fractal. So it's not just multiplying on top of each other, it's simply modifying the frequencies based on another fractal. The third value here is the AB offset, and that is actually a quite important one because it determines the look of the fractal. On values below one, we usually end up with these spotty results. If I lower the fill spots, for example, you can see the spot effect becomes quite a lot more obvious. Here go the name Spotify. It's almost like um, water rings or something you might be able to use it for. The gain just further multiplies this effect. You can use it to sharpen stuff up. So you can see the effect here, and here. Organicness, Let's see. kind of modifies the coverage of the fractal. Seat um, changes the look but keeps the same size of features. So we can quickly create variations. And the fill spots as well as the gain also have a multiplier on the extra attributes just to further increase the range. So for example, if I set gain to the maximum value 10 and fill spots to the maximum value of 1, I end up with this. But if I increase the spot multiplier, I can get super sharp results. The same with the gain, you can make it even sharper. So you can use this further to modify the look. So these are the very basic functions for Spotify. But there's a bit more because, like I said before, on AB offset values below one, I end up usually with something that produces like these ring features. While if I set it over one, Not very spectacular. We set the spot multiply, and I'm getting this, which is almost like terrain or cloud features. You can see the edges are quite, quite detailed, depending on the size of my dimensions. I'm just going to lower this further. Yeah. 
and increase the AB offset. Fill spots is now behaving almost like inverted. So I get these rich features. I'm just gonna hit the invert button here. Maybe you can see it a bit better. And just to illustrate it further, I'm gonna add a threshold, which you can also download at IDSCare. And just lower this, raise this value here and do a soft split. And I've got this, which is, you know, pretty useful for uh, terrain and whatnot. It's almost like uh, mountain shapes. And again, just by changing the AB offset, I get different effects. And the gain here increases the detail of the ridges or of the of the transition, I should say. Again, A B multiplier. Uh, sorry, gain multiplier can be used for different effects. Now there's another clamp value down here, which if you look at it in a flat mode, not much difference at all. But this is mainly to um, make Mari behave, I should say, because uh, if I have a full lighting model on with speculars and I have clamp values off, the and I turn off the threshold here because that's going to clip the values. There's not much shading going on. Well, if I turn clamp values on, you can see it, that the speculars start clipping a little less. So this is what the clamp values is for, and it's on by default. And again, we've got quick invert possibility just to, you know, because sometimes it goes more white or black, so you can quickly modify it. Lots of possibilities. Uh, the transform section of the node is pretty much what you sh should be used to if you are using the procedural options pack. So it has all the regular offset, um, non-uniform scales, as well as rotation. And that's it. Hope it's not too convoluted and yeah, give it a go and hope it's useful.